Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Holly of hollygrace.ca and I'm so excited that you caught this video. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I do hope you hit that subscribe button and the little bell if you want to be notified of future videos and I welcome you to follow me along on my thunder laser journey. Three, two, one. Here we go! So in this second video, we're going to be going through the setting up of the Thunder Laser and um, how to get it working so you can actually start creating projects. So I have here the Thunder Laser Nova 24. It is a desktop model, so it is um, smaller than their larger ones and it does fit on a desktop. I have it here on the crate, the bottom of the crate that it was shipped in because I just haven't had time to build a sufficient enough work table for it and I want to make sure I create something that I'm going to love and is functional. So I thought I would just get the laser up and running and see how it goes and um, what it's like to work with it before I actually design my workspace where it's going to be. So for right now it's just elevated a little bit off the floor and uh, but we're going to get it set up and we're going to see um, how it works and maybe even hopefully create our first project. So uh, we're going to just jump right into it, but um, if you like what you see here, I would love to have you uh, subscribe and follow along for more great videos. Let's get started. All right, so to begin, we're going to open up the top of the laser here. The door is on um, spring, so it's spring loaded here, so it pops up and it actually stays open, so that's nice. Um, but inside, we are actually going to have to remove a few things. So down in here, there is a zip tie, and I believe that is holding on the um, the grill there, the honeycomb grill, keeping it in place. And then under here, I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna have to move the camera a little bit. We have some keys that are actually zip tied there. We're gonna cut the zip ties and take those off. All right, so um, in this bag here are some keys, I believe for the, uh, the laser to lock up. Like all these compartments down here, they all have locks on them. So I believe all these keys are for those. All right, now we're actually behind the laser and we wanna open up this compartment here. So I'm just gonna try some of these keys and this opens up. And this is our tube for our laser. So I'm going to be removing this, um, foam that was put in here for the packaging. I'm assuming that was to keep the laser tube from um, breaking. So we're just gonna get rid of those and we don't need that anymore. All right, so we're gonna shut this up just to protect our laser tube there. We're gonna lock that back up. Now, um, this is really important. So um, it tells you right here on the outside Class 4 invisible laser radiation when open and interlocks defeated. Avoid eye contact or spin exposure. So you should always keep this locked and um, sealed. So with your laser, you also have the um, mixed flow inline fan. They send you the little toolbox with all the tools you need. You have an air compressor. And then you also have your um, water chiller and I have mine right here set beside. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure that our laser is level. So we are gonna take a little level, set it on this bar right here and make sure that the bubble is level. Once we know our laser is level, we're, we're good to continue. If your laser is not level, you use the little feet at the bottom and twist them up and down to get it level. So this is our water chiller. Uh, but for my unit, I'm actually outside in my bunkie, my bunkie craft space, and my bunkie doesn't actually have heat out here. I have a little portable heater, I have some heat lamps, and then I have a propane heater, but I'm not here all the time because my studio is not at my house, it's at my mother's place, So, and nobody actually lives out here in this bunkie, so I don't want... Um, this overnight, I don't want the water to freeze. So in the water chiller, I'm going to be putting um, RV antifreeze. 
So I got this RV winterproof antifreeze. So using a funnel, you're just gonna fill up the water chiller and there's a fill line indicator on the side here and you the bubble will go up and you want it to be in the normal range. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head to our toolbox. And we are going to get out this cord here with the gray piece on the end. We are going to get out the tubing, the white tubing, and then we also need this cord here with the um, two, three hole prongs on the end. All right, so we're gonna move around our machine here and we want to put our water chiller over on this side here. So basically we want our water chiller to be over on this side. This is our output for our water chiller, water in and water out. So we're just gonna start over here with the water chiller. And the first part we're going to put on is this cord here. So plug the plug end in. Here. Just like you would like a old computer tower. And then um, this end here is gonna go in right here. So we're just gonna line it up here. And then you turn it till it, you hear that little pop. And then this piece locks it, locks it in. So we heard the pop. Next we're gonna take the the cord with the three outlets. We are going to take this little cap off. So this is our alarm output cord. Now you'll notice they're two different sizes. So this one is smaller and then this end is larger. So you can't mix up which end. So this one goes in the water chiller. You push it in and then you just tighten the little silver cap around there. And then this end goes in down here. And again, you gotta line up the three holes and then tighten our little silver cap around there. Then we're gonna take the covers off here. So this is our water in and our water out. We're gonna take our white tube, one white tube, and we're gonna start with the outlet line. So this is gonna be water coming out of the water chiller. And then we wanna line it up to the orange down here, which is water in. So coming out of here and then going into our laser. The other white tube, we're gonna do inlet here, which is water in. So water going in here, but coming out of here. So orange to orange and green to green. So it's nice that it's color coded because the ins and outs can get a little confusing. <laughs> So I like that, color coded, water in, water out. Okay, and then after we've done all that, then after we've done that, we can just switch the on switch on. Next, we're gonna take our um, air compressor and we're gonna take this stuff out. In the air compressor comes this little blue hose. We are going to take we're gonna take this end and we're gonna put it in here. Tighten that. And then we're gonna take this little blue end and at the back of our laser, we're gonna put that into there. And the plug for the air pump actually goes, or air compressor, sorry, goes over here at the other side. So air pump, and then I wanna plug that in there like that. All right, next comes our tubing, the exhaust fan. So we're gonna take our tubing and we're gonna place it over top of this output hole here, over there. So we're gonna put the clamp on and then we're just going to, with the screwdriver that came in our toolbox, tighten that up. Now we're gonna take this end, 
And we are going to put it onto our inlet fan. The arrow here means the direction of the flow. So we want it to go out this way, obviously. So I am going to put this end on this side, not this side, because it's going this way. We don't want it to blow back. We want it to blow out. I should put on one of my things first. Sorry, I forgot that. So put that, slide that over first. You won't be able to get that on once you put it on here. And you want to make sure that you get at least one of these, if not two, over top. All right, so we'll tighten our thing on here. And then for the other end, you're gonna take your second tubing and you're gonna put that on the same way you did the first one. I'm just going to put my clamp on first. I'm going to attach this to the other end. All right, then you're going to take the power cable, put it in back here. This end goes out your window or wherever your outside exhaust goes. And then the last plug is the power cord for the laser. So that goes in this spot here. So same thing as the other one for the water chiller, you put it in and then turn it till you hear that click and then it's in. And then this cable just plugs into your wall. We're going to unpop the emergency stop. So it's up, and then we're going to turn on the main power switch. So without the emergency stop up, it will not turn on. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to test the axes of the laser. You can see the little red dot on the wood. That is our laser there. And now we're just gonna test it, so. So to test the axes, I'm just using the arrow buttons on the control pad, just moving the laser back and forth, up and down, making sure that the um, laser moves in full motion without any error or um, any stops. All right, everybody. So in order to use the Thunder Laser, you need some sort of design software. So we're using Lightburn. Um, you want to go ahead and download the actual um, software. So I'm downloading it for my Mac and you can just see it's downloading here. And then once that's done, we'll open it up and get started. Okay, so it's downloaded here. We're gonna open it up. Because I'm a Mac, I just gotta move it to my applications. For now, let's check out Light Burn. We'll open this up and see. Okay, so this is going to, you're going to either start your free trial or if you have a license key which you've purchased, you can input it here. So I'm going to go ahead and input mine. Okay, so now we have to go through this usage agreement. Um, okay, so now it's asking us to find our laser. So let's go over to our laser. In my toolbox comes the USB cable. So we're going to hook that into the machine here. And we're going to go ahead and find our laser. So we're going to click find my laser. Okay, so I'm going to assume this is our labor laser here because we only have one. So we're going to add that and you know what, I'm just going to keep that there because I, okay, where is the origin of your laser? 
So it, our laser, it's asking me where our laser is in the machine right now. So you can see my laser is there in the rear left. Okay. All right, so let's see here. Let's uh, fart around with this and see what we can do. So after, quote unquote, a little farting around, sorry for my terrible expression, um, I realized that this uh, software needs a little bit more of my attention and a little bit more studying before uh -oh. I'm able to actually create a project. So um, the great thing I did just want to mention to everybody is that the awesome thing about Thunder Laser Canada is um, when you purchase one of their lasers, they will help you through um, setting it up, guiding you through, you can schedule training sessions with them and they will make sure that you are fully able to work your laser and they want nothing but the best on your laser journey. So if something like this intimidates you, I did just want to mention, don't be afraid because there are people out there that are able to help you and especially with an amazing company like thunder laser canada they want to make sure that you can actually use your laser so they'll be with you every step of the way to help you out so i have my um, training session scheduled next week so after i've done that i am hoping that i will be back with a project and a full tutorial for you so thank you so much for tuning into this video and um, stay tuned for what's next